Yo, what's up guys, Mr. Fry here, and today we are going to be collabing with the Voina Experience. Um, so we basically are doing a channel takeover, so, uh, his new video, which I'll put a link to it in the description, so in his new video, I did a tier list ranking of all the Home Depot and Mashonics for the season, and now in this video, he'll be doing his ranking. So, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be here for long, so I'm just doing the intro and um i guess i'll pass it on to the voin experience so he can do the tier list what's happening out there ghoulies my name is brett and i am host of the voina experience on youtube a channel dedicated to the year-round celebration of halloween decorations animatronic shenanigans so make sure you jump over to the voina experience and check us out and ghoulies we are back with mr fright to uh, do another collab. Thank you so much, Mr. Fright, for inviting us to be a part of your channel once again to do another collab video with you. And today we are going to be ranking in a tier list the 2024 Home Depot uh, animatronic releases. Uh, there also is a couple of like static props, I think, in here too, but um, basically it's going to be the 2024 releases from Home Depot coming out. So we are going to jump over to tiermaker.com and we are going to be ranking those animatronics. So let's do that. <clears throat> All right, here we are, ghoulies, on tiermaker.com. We have our standard awesome to know ranking. And down here are the 15 animatronics that we are going to be ranking from Home Depot. And they are. The 12 foot Skelly, the 12 foot Deadwood Skeleton, Skelly's little companion dog, the 5 foot, I believe, Skeleton Dog, Frankenstein, the Plague Doctor, the Doolahan Knight, the 3 foot Pumpkin Skeleton, the Murderous Maple Tree, this Flying Reaper, Jack of Spades, Captain Cuts, the Scarecrow animatronic, another witch animatronic, the Stormtrooper, and Lord Darth Vader. So, ghoulies, we are going to go now to the tier maker and we're going to put them in ranking from awesome to no based on what our opinion is. And, ghoulies, if you like this tier ranking, join us on our channel, The Voyant Experience, every Tuesday for Tier List Tuesday, where we rank all kinds of animatronic lists that are generated by us and lately we've been doing some lists generated by you guys out there so come on over to the Voin experience and check it out so ghoulies we are going to be looking at first is the re-release of the 12 foot skeleton this is a prop that has come out from home depot every year for the last few years they've made some changes to it they've updated his eyes i think and made some color changes back to him and you know made a little changes but the price is still going to remain the same guys um, so that's pretty cool. So ultimately, this is a very popular uh, prop from Home Depot every year. So we obviously can't say that it sucks. And we also like the 12-foot skeleton. I'm not going to go as far as to say it's completely awesome as it is just a static 12-foot prop. But the fact that they've made some updates to it and kept the price the same definitely deserves a second ranking here in the light category. So very good. Congratulations, 12-foot skelly. <laughs> That brings us up then to the 12 foot Deadwood skeleton. Now this guy is kind of like a, a version of a skeleton, only he's got some like tree-ish looking attributes to him. Uh, some color changing LEDs. So again, if you're a fan of the 12 foot stuff, this is definitely a pretty cool prop. However, for me personally, like, I, I don't know, like the, the static, we've already got the 12 foot skeleton and there's already a lot of 12 foot static skeleton looking ish props around so you know it, it's cool i like it but you know when you compare it to some of the other animatronics on there on this list we're just going to bump it down here in just an okay now keep in mind that this is just comparing it to the animatronics within the home depot not not all the animatronics that are coming out in 2024 <laughs> all right guys so then that brings us here to skelly's little companion the five foot skeleton dog guys this is pretty cool. It's a really awesome companion piece to the 12 foot skeleton. And if you already have the 12 foot skeleton, I definitely suggest you grab this guy because how cool would they look to have the skeleton in his little puppy? They each need each other, guys. Get him. Um, <laughs> so I'm also going to put him right here with his buddy just because, you know, they deserve to be together. And although these are really cool props, 
as they're not full animatronics, I really just can't, I really can't for the sake of the fact that we are mostly an animatronic themed channel. So all my love and attention mostly goes to the animatronics. However, I do like these props. So that's why they're not getting a no, but you know, here we are. All right, guys, so that's gonna bring us up to Frankenstein. Now, ghoulies, I'm gonna be honest, and if you've watched our channel, you know Frankenstein right now is my leading contender for 2024. I have already purchased him, and ghoulies, I've been notified, he's on the way, so be looking for an unboxing video of Frankenstein from Home Depot coming just as soon as he arrives in the mail. This guy's awesome with servo motors, really cool light-ups. I love his, the way his bolts light up. Uh, from what I can hear, there are some movie phrases with some of the like background characters that talk. I'm not so much a huge fan of that. I just kind of wanted the creature sound effects, but I can't knock it down at all though, Ghoulies, because this is an incredibly cool animatronic and Frankenstein is definitely going on the top as an awesome animatronic, especially from Home Depot. Like good job, Home Depot of like stepping it up. <laughs> All right, guys, and that brings us next to the Plague Doctor. Now, here's one that I'm just kind of like, a lot of people are talking about this Plague Doctor as it being some sort of like, you know, huge fan favorite that's coming out this year. And I don't really get it, guys, because ultimately it is just a Plague Doctor animatronic. And we've had dozens of them before, and we'll probably have dozens more after. And I'm not exactly sure what all his phrasing and all that. It's all going to come down to phrasing. We don't have, can't find any videos or demos on it yet, Ghoulies. The only one I could find was... Um, Frankenstein and then Darth Vader, but uh, from what I can see so far, there's just nothing overly exciting about the Plague Doctor. So, like, I mean, he's cool. He's not awful, but, like, yeah, he's just going to kind of sit right here in the OKs for me. Like, there's nothing ultimately exciting in my opinion. I don't know. What do you guys think? Drop some comments. Let me know. What is it about this Plague Doctor that's getting everybody so excited? Because I don't get it. <laughs> All right, guys, next up is then the Doolahan Knight. Now, this is kind of cool, and everybody, I think, and even myself, assumed originally that it was a headless horseman, like an unlicensed headless horseman, because, like, some of the features aren't exactly the headless horseman. For example, it's holding a skull and not a pumpkin, and so on and so on. But this is actually a Doolahan Knight, which is a character, I believe it's Scottish or Irish folklore. I can't remember exactly which one. I think maybe Irish. I'm not exactly sure. I can't remember. Scottish or Irish. One of the two. But it's part of their folklore. And it has its own backstory and its own, you know, representation, its own legend in the horror world. So this is a Doolahan Knight. And I think that's kind of cool. It's different. It's unique. I love the design of it. Everything down to the horse. I'm not exactly sure how much of an animatronic it is, if it's going to have any phrasing or if it's just a light up and sound effects, I'm not exactly sure. But just based on the photos I've got of it right now, ghoulies, um, I'm definitely saying the Doolahan Knight, I'm predicting this one's going to be uh, a very awesome animatronic for sure. If it would ever, if my computer would catch up to me there. All right. Okay, so yeah, we've so far, we've got two and two. We've got two in the awesome, two in the light, two in okays. And luckily, nothing so far going down here in the nose. But let's keep going. Next up is this three foot pumpkin skeleton. Now I believe, if I'm, I think this is just a static prop decoration. I'm not 100% sure. It's a miniature version of the, I think it's a 12 foot Inferno pumpkin skeleton thing that they released before in the past. This is a you know shrunken down miniature version of it. And like, you know, I, I don't have anything exciting to say, especially about something that's like a, a shrunken version. I'm not a huge fan of taking something and making a small version of it. I don't understand why companies do that. Like. You know, you create something different. It's like like with Spirit Halloween and Young Crouchy. Like I don't, I don't get it. I, I, that's just me. Um, so like, it's cool. I don't hate it, but you know, it, it's just it's it, it's okay. It's just an okay. <laughs> Next up, ghoulies, is the Murderous Maple Tree. Now, this is pretty cool. I'm not 100% sure if it's an animatronic. I think it's just a static prop that just has some sound effects, some lights. I don't know the full details on it. But just based on what I do know and these photos, I really like this decoration as a decoration um, because I think you can do a lot with it. Pretty much any theme that you have, this decoration could go in because it's just a spooky haunted tree. And I like spooky haunted trees. I'm not going to go as far as to say it's an awesome prop because, again, I think it's just a static. But I definitely do like it and I'm going to put it in the second tier for sure. 
Then, ghoulies, that brings us then to this uh, Flying Reaper. I, I, I believe it's a 12-foot fryer. I'm not sure if it's 12-foot or not. It looks like it's 12-foot from the pictures because it looks pretty big. But regardless if it's 12 feet or not, this is a really cool-looking animatronic or even just a static prop if it's a static prop. I'm thinking it's an animatronic, but this thing is cool-looking. This looks like a scary Reaper. I love everything about the way it looks. I love this, the, the sky it's holding. I love its face. I love its overall design. This is really cool. Static prop or not, I have to give this one an awesome, guys, because of the of the work and detail that went into its design. Like, just the look of it. As I said, even if it is a static prop, which I'm not 100% sure on, let me know. But even as a static prop, that thing is cool looking and it's awesome and it cannot be. I don't have, you can't say anything bad about it. And when I don't have anything bad to say about it, it has to be in an awesome category. So guys, that brings us up to Jack of Spades. Guys, this is a really fantastic piece. I am loving it. This guy is obviously a companion piece to the Dean Deathologist and Marie the Barmaid. I believe she came out last year and Dean was before that. And uh, this is another piece of this like bar collection. Uh, now we've got this skeleton dude holding like some cards and a cigar and a drink and all that fun stuff. And guys, although he's not a full animatronic, he does have phrases and He's fully posable, so you can stand him up, sit him down, and make him look all kinds of really cool ways. So because of that, and although he's not an animatronic, <clears throat> but because he's very diverse and you can fully pose him, that, doesn't, that, that, that gives him right back into the game. And I absolutely love this animatronic. I think this is a wicked, scary-looking skeleton with a cool costume and a cool story that fits in with these other pieces. Absolutely he is 100% going to go right up here at the top as an awesome animatronic or decoration, whatever he is, for sure. <laughs> All right, guys, that brings us up here then to Captain Cuts, a.k.a. Captain Crunch. And if you guys don't know who Captain Crunch is, he's this dude from the popular cereal brand. And this animatronic looks just like Captain Crunch, most like an evil version of Captain Crunch. But they're calling him Captain Cuts. And guys, I think he's pretty cool. You know, like, I'm not so much big into the pirate or the aquatic scenes myself, but he is a cool-looking animatronic, um, depending on what he says and does. I think he looks scary. I like his look. I think he might be a fun guy. I'm not going to go as far as to say that he's awesome just because he's not, like, a personal thing that I'm really interested in myself, but I know that a lot of people like the aquatic stuff. They like the sea captains and the boats and the creepy pirates, and that's cool. And for that... He is definitely cool. So I'm going to put him up here in the second tier just because, like, I'm not personally excited, but he is cool. And, I, and maybe if I see him in stores, maybe I'll get a little bit of a more of a, of a hype about him. Maybe I'll bump him up later on. But as of right now, I'm not going to say he's awesome, but he is really cool. And I'm looking forward to kind of seeing him around. All right, guys, now we've got this Scarecrow. I don't think he has a name that I can find just yet, but for now, he's just this generic Scarecrow. And that's just kind of my thoughts. Like, We've got so many Scarecrow props and so many Scarecrow animatronics. And guys, unfortunately, none of them really look much different or do much different things. You know, we've got clowns and things that we get an abundance of, but they all look and do different stuff. This Scarecrow is like not really doing much to impress me. He's not awful. He's cool. If you want a new Scarecrow prop, he's probably awesome and, and, and it'll work. It just for me, you know, he looks like a Mad Hatter with like a, a skeleton thing. Or a, a Scarecrow thing with a Mad Hatter thing. I, I don't know. He, he's just okay, in my opinion. So, I don't know. But look at this interesting, guys. Right now, we've got a three-way tie here with these categories. And <laughs> let's keep going. When then brings us here to this witch with the broom. Uh, that's all I got as far as her name. She's a witch with a broom. And, and that's just... I, oh, we've got so many witches and, and brooms. And, and, guys, I'm just not excited about this prop, like, at all. If they didn't release her, I probably wouldn't even care. So... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a, just a no. I got nothing to say about her. She's not exciting. She doesn't look cool. If you like witches, great. That's fine. I like witches, but I've got a lot of them, and I just don't see anything different or cool about her. You know what I mean? All right, guys, so we're down to our final two, the Stormtrooper and Darth Vader, and I'm pretty excited about both of these, you guys. First, we'll start with the Stormtrooper. This is a really cool animatronic. It's a Stormtrooper. I'm not sure if it moves. I'm pretty sure it, it, it is an animatronic and moves. Does some sound effects, um, but it, they did cap it as a Christmas-only decoration. So for that, I can't necessarily say it's awesome because it's got Christmas. <laughs> but I do like it 
for sure. So I am going to put it here in the light category because I, I think it is pretty cool. And when used as a companion piece to Darth Vader, it will obviously be really cool, which then brings us to Darth Vader animatronic. And guys, this thing is freaking awesome because he's, first of all, he's holding his lightsaber. He's got a carved pumpkin in his hand, which is even better. And to make that carved pumpkin even way cooler, he's carved the Death Star as the pumpkin. Like, how cool is that? It even looks like he did it with his lightsaber. It's so freaking cool. The movements on this guy, from what I've seen in these videos, are incredible. The sound effects are obviously licensed, so this is a full-on Darth Vader licensed prop from Star Wars, much like the Yoda from last year. And guys, bonus, it's interchangeable. He goes to a candy cane-looking lightsaber and holding a Christmas ornament bobble instead of the pumpkin, so you can interchange him for both Christmas and Halloween, which is an applause for me. And then when you've got Yoda and the Death and then the Stormtrooper with him, absolutely. And Darth Vader deserves nothing but the top ghoulies. You know that I have to give the Dark Lord of the Sith nothing but the very top, as that is what he deserves. <laughs> as one of my favorite characters of all time. So here you have it, Ghoulies, the Home Depot 2024 lineup in a tier ranking, the awesome and light category, tying it out with an even number of both. We've got some down here in just the okays, but that's because mostly they just weren't very exciting or unique or different enough to really stand out. And then down here with just one animatronic falling into the did not like it at all category. So I think ultimately, Ghoulies, Home Depot has got a really good lineup coming out this year. And, and as far as I'm concerned, and we're concerned here at T uh, the Voyant Experience, Home Depot is currently leading the uh, Halloween decorations for us this year. But we still haven't seen Spirit Halloweens or a full Party City lineup yet. So I'm looking very much forward to seeing them. Jump over to the Voin Experience and let us know what your guys' thoughts are. Subscribe to our channel and follow us. Thank you once again to Mr. Fright for inviting us to collab with him on his channel. Thank you guys for watching us. And until next time, I will catch you later, ghoulies. All right, that was the Voin Experience. I will put a link to his channel in the description. And yeah, with all that being said and done, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you would like us to make a third collaboration, let me know. Because this is actually our second. I'll put a link to the first one in the description as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. This has been Mr. Fright and the Void Experience. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.